How are you? I'm having a really shit time. Yeah. You're my support coordinator. I mean, how how much is this costing me out of the plan? Uh, I haven't got the actual invoice yet. So you don't even know how much it's costing me. They can just charge whatever they want. Mate, there's no food here. I've got no psychologist. I've got no psychiatrist. I've got no social worker. I haven't even got a GP. I've got no money. I'm absolutely fucking broke and there's fuck all here and I've got no support. I can't believe that this is happening to me. And I've got these people tasked with my care, but still nothing's been done and you won't even answer the phone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being a burden to you, but this is fucked for me. Look, everyone's got other commitments, but someone has to surely acknowledge my situation. Yes, and I've, I've had this discussion with you before, Richard, that I'm working really hard in the background to try and get it all sorted. Nothing's been done. I've just written a thing on the internet. I was drugged and raped by Steve Isonides, but I can't report that to the Ombudsman or police. He has me half a million dollars in a fair, equal legal settlement. Not even the Prime Minister will acknowledge it after I sent him a letter. It just goes on. It's just bullshit, the amount of oppression and victimisation I've been through. I'm a rejected whistleblower. I can't get a lawyer. I can't go to police. I've just re- re- left hospital and, and I've got no health care. They've washed their hands of me. They want to cause me harm. They actually want to cause me harm. Why would you let someone go from a hospital and not provide a doctor? I'll tell you why, because they don't give a flying fuck about me, which is like most people. No one gives a fuck about me. No one. I've been scapegoated. I'm a victim of a conspiracy theory. I'm not fucking delusional about it. What happened to the place in Williamstown? I haven't heard yet. Okay. But you know what? You're asking about that. That's something I did of myself, my own volition. That's what I organised with the very fucking limited resources that I have. No one's helped me. I did that by myself. I'm not getting any help. I'm left to struggle by myself. My parents have admitted that they're claiming a pension or or getting money for me. So they didn't want me to move out of the area because they might lose the money. But by the same token, I was literally on the fucking street the other night, in my car, with nowhere to fucking go with my dog in the back, and they wouldn't have me over. What's wrong with this picture? You know? And and now they don't want me to move out of the area because they'll lose the money. They make me fucking beg them for money. Every time I ask, I have to fucking beg them. I got 30 bucks last night off dad. I'm owed multi millions of dollars. They couldn't have treated me fucking worse if they tried. Are they, are they getting the pension? Do you know this? Look, I'm really forgetful about things that I send. Let me just go into my emails here. I've sent you a couple of emails over the last couple of days. I sent you an email. Dear all, this has to be emailed to the UN for acknowledgement and a response. And I've asked for protection in other countries because this one's not looking after me. I said, it's not because I'm suicidal, but without change, I won't survive. I've provided all the details. I've provided um, a linked PDF, clearly outlining the abuse. I've put together, I've enclosed a bank statement with me and Steve Isonides, my digital national police certificate, of which I've got a clean criminal record, a hospital document stating my suicide attempt was fatal from the same abuse that's still happening to me. A lease agreement between me and Isonides, the fact that I'm banned at AFCA, 
Micron 21 destroying my company. Russell Ball, a powerful lawyer, framing me at the Ombudsman. A, a report about my human rights abuses that you alone, as a person indebted to me to report this human rights abuse, but you know, the wheels are in motion apparently. Fuck all's happened. I've been drugged and raped. I can't tell anyone. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with people? I've put the Prime Minister's response, where, which has been ineffective. The Prime Minister's in on it. I've got death threats to me and my dog. I'm a little bit fucking stressed. I'm violently attacked inside a hospital by a fucking government thug. Inside a hospital. Violently beaten up. What's wrong with this email that I've sent you? And I've provided all the evidence there. Why aren't you acting on that? Because I'm busy trying to work out your next housing move. I'm busy trying to work within the NGIS, which is my re remit, because I'm an NGIS support coordinator. <coughs> Are you in receipt of that letter and that it was sent to Bill Shorten, Pal Washer, Free Living Australia, the Attorney General's Office, um, NDIS Inquiries, NDIS Review? Oh. I've, I've even sent it to um, international agencies to try and get safe safety at their consulate. That's how brutal this oppression is for me. What, what makes you think the NDIS is going to look after me? And what, what is the update on that? Like, what is it? What have they said? I told you yesterday that I had a meeting with them and I have to send them in through a change of circumstances with some evidence, which is what I'm trying to organise. Why don't you send in that email that I sent you, that I just sent you? Because that's, they're not going to... Because I need to provide them evidence from either the hospital or someone like that I just don't understand why this is even happening to me. Like, surely someone in the world would say, you know, let's just get one of these legal issues over the line for him. He'd be fine. Like, can I offer you $100,000 just to make a complaint? No. Don't accept money from anyone. I just do my job. Okay. Do you know anyone else I could offer $100,000 to just to make a simple acknowledgement? I mean to say, when the lawyer engages, then I'll get the money and then I'll pay him back. Yeah, I, look, I don't know. What do you think I should do, Paula? Just sit here? Look, I, I said to you yesterday, Richard, I know it's not ideal. I know that it's not ideal. But this is what I've got to work with and that's what I'm doing. And I'm it's doing abuse. It. It's abuse. It, it's abuse. It's victimisation of me. It's awful. I can't get a lawyer, can't be a whistleblower, can't get a police. Drugged and raped, beaten up, absolutely systemically and politically robbed millions of dollars. My oppressors are the government. They protect Steve Isonides. They protect him. And there is just not a way for me to get this over the line. I just, I just, I can't believe this. So I've just... I just received a response from complaints at NHPO. Thank you for your email with your reply. I note in your reply you've mentioned Dr. Virginia Lay. We have not previously considered concerns related to a no notification about Dr. Lay. You're welcome to make a complaint to our office about the handling of a notification about that practitioner if you've made one to ARPRA. If this is the case, you can please provide a notic notification letter to Alpra. They're just kicking the can down the road. It's more delay, deny, defer. What am I going to do? I need money. You know what? There's not even any food here. You know what? I asked what was for lunch and they said, what do you want? I said, what do you got? 
We went to the cupboard. Are you there? Yeah, and, and And they got out... I got out a can of salmon. There's not even a can opener here. And you know what she's, her solution was? To get a knife and something to bang it in with. To try and saw it open. So I can what? Eat it from the can? There's no food here. I, I, I need... I need this company to put some more fucking money in, into the plan and get the support worker who's here 24 hours a fucking day just sitting there to take me to the shops and buy some fucking food. What have you asked them to do that? I fucking have. No one's answering just like you weren't answering. Everyone's busy. I'm fucking dying here. You're the support coordinator. Can't you talk to them? I need food to eat. I'm getting fucking cranky. I will, I will email them. I will bring them up. I will get something Tell them to put $300 out of my account into the fucking thing and I'm going to go and buy some decent fucking food which I haven't eaten in months. Well, I'm going to go now, Richard, and I will follow that up for you, okay? Sorry, I really don't want to argue with you or yell at anyone. Can you, I need food. Obviously, I need to eat. I couldn't have been treated worse by this society if they'd have dumped me in the gutter and said, here, beg. All right, I'm going to go and I'm going to follow it up now. All right.